Okay, uh, another thing I want to mention to you is sessions. For people who need to know, like a punch in, punch out, you'll want to turn on the sessions. So we go into sessions, and we'll say that we want to turn this on by default. And the session end time, we're going to ask for the comment. And the timer display is going to show entry time. So now we'll go back to our time entries. And let's say we'll add a new time entry here. I'm going to pick a client. We'll just say it's uh, uh, Acme here. Oops. Acme. Here we go. And we see the sessions is on. We can also turn it off and as you can see that when you do this that you get uh, the times change. Now when you save it it's going to be locked into using sessions or not using sessions. Once you pick one for a time entry that's going to stick. So we're going to save this and we're going to start an entry on here and we'll let this run for a little bit. Okay and now we'll say that we wanted to stop it and it's going to ask us if we want to annotate the session note which the session notes are different than the reference notes these are more used for your own internal uh, notes so we're going to just say task one and finish that up that brings us back to the entry and now you can see that in this entry type you have a start time and then you have your sessions instead of having the stop time and durations and the pickers here. So we'll go back and let's say that we wanted to start and we punch in again. We took our lunch and now we're going to punch in again. You can see that the timer starts over from zero for the session. And we'll let this run for a few seconds here. Okay, we'll stop that. And we'll say this is task two. Now if we go into this, we'll see that our total time of all the sessions is 18 seconds. And we can see that both sessions are here now. And for example, if we wanted to edit a session, we just tap on the session row and we get the familiar thing for the non-session, where you have the start time, stop time, and duration, which you can customize. And also our, our quick pick timer. We say we want to add an hour 10 minutes to that, we can do that. You can see our session notes down there. We'll save this and back to our entry and we want to hit save and now you'll notice that the com total time of the whole entry is an hour and 11 minutes now if I start another timer you can see that on the bottom here we have the total entry time elapsed you can also go in back into your setup and if you prefer to see the session time you can go back here pick the session time and we'll go back to our entries and now you can see that it has the elapsed time in the sessions if you prefer to see the elapsed time there okay and we'll stop that we're not going to annotate this session so I want to note that you can resort if you want to change the sort order you can sort the uh, date you can go into the client resort by client if you want and also in the time column you can change that to the decimal value you can see the start time of the entry and also the stop time but please note however the stop time is always calculated by the start time plus the duration so if you started and stopped the timer multiple times your stop time is not going to be the actual time you stopped your timer but the addition of the duration to the start time so that pretty much wraps up time entries uh, please check out our next video for expenses